So I received a question on my on my service desk. Yes, I do have a service desk on, of my own, which I set up a couple of months back. And uh, the purpose of this uh, the purpose of this uh, service desk is to channelize all the all the requirements that uh, you have, and maybe you have any questions for me, or if you want to if you want me to take a look at something, and if you think uh, you need more than two minutes of my time then uh, raise a ticket for for me and uh, for raising a ticket you can go to my website ravisaka.in and you will find one one button that says uh, contact me so you can click on that click on that button or you can go to the service test portal uh, and i believe you, you i believe you can find the link somewhere in the description but i wanted to talk about this question <coughs> today and uh, this question is from uh it's from dilere i guess and the question is all about i'm using jira cloud version and uh, i have a problem with the uh, script runner in my project i have to get only issues that uh, gpa uh custom field is less than 3 so this user also sent me one uh, um one script <clears throat> not the complete script but i was looking at the uh, at the script uh, and I was trying to identify uh, the problem so it seems like uh, he I guess he is trying to do something with uh, a number field and based on the number field uh, he's trying to uh, do something else so there are two things number one if you're trying to let us say if I read the question uh, the question says that I want to get all the issues based on a field more than or less than a number whatever so you can do that using uh, jql uh, that is probably better and you can actually uh, use jira rest api and of course uh, script runner to make a search using uh, jql and of course then when you have the issues you can do a lot of wonderful things with the, those issues that you get in your search result but if i if i look at your script i think uh, you're trying to get the custom field value first and then do something with the custom field so let me show you how it can be done um, and the good thing is that if you are using a script now for jira on cloud uh, you also have these different links that will give you some suggestions on how to access or how to fetch the field uh, values now there are a couple of ways of doing it uh, using rest api if you're using of course uh, java api on server of course you can directly fetch the custom field value there are a lot of wonderful uh, methods uh, in the java api but on uh, on the cloud version you have to use rest api now if you know the field id then you can directly uh, look at uh, the issue so when you make a rest call for the issue you can actually get the whole json where you have for each and every issue different uh, fields so let me just do it very quickly so if i do let us say a return here let us do return issue and by the way we have done this before i'm just uh, trying to repeat myself to answer this question and uh, it is also a refresher for me or maybe anyone who is uh, who is trying to do something similar on cloud so basically what i'm doing here is i'm simply uh, trying to fetch oh, this issue st1 and uh, I will get a JSON and if you look at the JSON here this JSON will give you the information but uh, for each and every custom field you have to use the custom field ID so if you know the custom field ID then you can of course uh, stop here and uh, that is it but if you don't know the custom field ID you can uh, you can make another rest call to get the custom field ID based on the field name and I guess you know the field name because that is what you are trying to do so let me just remove this return issues and uh, what I'll do, I'll uh, I'll do a return custom field, and if you do this, uh, you will get uh, again a JSON with all the fields. No, not all the field fields, but uh, this particular field, which is called as request participants. It is a field which is like a user picker field, and uh, this field is used in one of my one of my uh, service desk project. And this field ID is uh, this custom field ID underscore one zero zero three eight. So this is something that it, that is important because you need this, 
and based on this you can uh, then make uh, maybe one more uh, uh, I mean basically now you have two JSONs and you can uh, basically use uh, Groovy to convert the JSON into a map and then uh, you can uh, uh, do something like this fields and then pass in the custom field dot id so we know the id now so this is the id and uh, basically what we are trying to do for all the fields in the issue json which is now a map now a map you're basically just focused on uh, this particular uh, field where the custom field id is equal to 10038 so basically uh, you're you're using based on the name of your of the of your of the custom field you are getting the field id and then you are passing this field id to uh, fetch the value of a custom field for a specific issue. So using REST API, things are, you have to do things uh, by making a couple of REST calls. And uh, if I just run this code now, and by the way, this is uh, one of the code that I picked by clicking on the link here. So I, I guess there is a code here, Select get select list custom field option. If you click on this link, you will get this code. Um, and that is what I'm doing. And uh, if you now look at the output, you basically have the um, custom field value, which is request participant. So if, going back to the question, number one, you uh, can fetch the custom field ID. For for a number field, you don't, uh, I mean, I'm trying, I, I think you're trying to convert the, um, convert the, I guess you're looking at the code, you, you looked at the code that you copied uh, by clicking on the link. But this code that you click, I mean, when you click on this uh, get custom field, get select list custom field option, this code will work on the custom fields of type select list. And that is why it says as map. So you don't need to convert it as map because uh, in your case, it is just a number field. So just stop at issue.field id and that is it so that, that is what i'm also doing in my code so this is something that i thought i'll share and also at the, at the same time if you want to uh i mean if i look at the question here the question says very clearly that uh, i have to get only issues that gpa custom field is less than three so i believe a better way of doing it is to write a jql and use that jql to perform a search and you can do that using REST API. And if you want to learn how to do that, I have plenty of videos on my on my channel. And I'll sh probably show you if I go to my website. I, I'm, I'm quite happy and proud of myself because I have been maintaining and um, creating this knowledge base of uh, all the things that you can do. And I have been doing basically on my video, like all the videos and all the articles and whatever I'm do I'm sharing online i keep it here so that i can search it and, and this is like a repository so if you go to my mastering jira rest api uh, playlist you can search here basically in this particular uh, in this particular uh, course i have talked about only only uh, rest api so i'm just trying to show you how to find the information so if you click on this parse and validate jql I have described here in this video how to how to basically handle uh, and first of all you need to know I think I think once you know the right uh, right endpoint so the, the endpoint is uh, slash rest slash API slash three slash JQL slash parse I guess and I don't really remember it has been a while but when you click on when you when you run this. Uh, when, when, you, when you execute, when you run, run the code or when you test this endpoint, I believe uh, you should be able to uh, you should be able to do something with the JQL. And uh, you can always take a look in the Jira REST API reference documentation. So do take a look at my, my playlist. I'm also trying to promote my, my content. <laughs> I'm just trying to help and by the way, uh, if you are not sure where to look for, uh, what I also do, I always uh, try to organize my, my my videos and whatever I'm sharing in, in a form of, uh, I mean, everything is a playlist on YouTube and also on library, but I make sure that I have everything 
uh, I, I aggregate and I consolidate everything on my website. So if you want to learn something about, let us say, script you know, for Jira on cloud, so let me try to find this. So it says, so there is a course called Mastering Script Now for Jira Cloud. And uh, the reason I'm calling it as a course because you can start from uh, from the first video and then you can move on to the next one. And I have plenty of examples that you can also take a look at. For example, I, I did talk about passing JQL results, which is of course based on uh, the endpoint that I shared earlier. So this is the endpoint. So basically this is a script where you can pass in your filter ID or any JQL. So rest slash API slash two slash search question mark JQL is equal to blah, blah, blah. So basically you can pass here your JQL or filter. Filter is better because uh, it is convenient. And uh, and uh, you can then uh, convert your output. I mean, you will get a JSON that you can convert to, I guess, uh, um, I mean, the good thing about uh, the good thing about Groovy is that you can convert this in a map, and then uh, you can iterate over it. So when you look at this code, what I'm doing here is I'm trying to iterate. I, I'm trying to first fetch the list of issues using a filter, and I can have maybe ten or twenty issues, and then I'm just trying to print them separately, the issue key and the priority name. But the idea here is to demonstrate how you can number one pass JQL result and then uh, do something with those individual issues. And and that is it. That is all I wanted to share and talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you also learned something new today. Thank you very much.